guys and welcome back to my new weekly vlog. I've got little Luna with me here. Hey, you gonna say hi to everybody? Hi. <laughs> Good girl. And yeah, I just got up, did my base makeup, I've done my brows, which are super easy to do now. I've got the microbladed. I literally just use um, the Anastasia Beverly Hills Browers. And just quickly pencil over them and brush them through. So super easy. And yeah, I'm about to head upstairs to film a video, a sort of face painting beauty video for my YouTube channel. So that will be up soon. Um, yeah, and then I'll update you guys after I've done I it. feel like I have not filmed a video in so long and actually like sat down and did one, but I have just filmed this Christmas holly, glittery, like, kind of a fancy dress party makeup look to inspire you of Christmas um, in collaboration with Snazaroo. So I don't know if that's up on my channel already, but it will be soon. So make sure you watch out for it. So I just had some bagels for lunch. And now we're going to head out to Asda because we need to do a food shop. Um, and also me and Robin are, I think, pretty much only together today until like the 18th of December. So I was like, we probably should go and get a tree and put up some decorations or something. Otherwise, we're never going to get around to it. Because um, it's not really something that's fun doing it on your own. So, And we spent so much money last year on decorations that we kind of need to put some up. So I don't know whether we're going to get a real tree again or whether we're just going to get like just a little small one or something. Just a fake one. But yeah, we're going to go to Asda and see what they've got there. So Asda did... Uh trees and it's pretty big actually 25 quid though bargain so we're back home we've got the christmas music on and we are about to put up the good luck gun tangling all of that i'm just doing this <laughs> can you go and find the christmas man i don't know where it is brilliant just wet the floor because i poured water in it oh that's a good size actually that's cute it's not bad for a 25 quid from asda it's the same as last year's. It's alright. You need to help me. Baby, you watching? So the tree is up and Robin's on the floor hoovering. You put it up? Yeah, yeah, you put it up. Robin put it up because I didn't put it up right. But I did the bloody sawing. I had to get a saw because it basically the bottom of it wouldn't fit in the bucket thing we had because yeah, we got it from Asta. From tree. Yeah, if, if you buy from a proper Christmas tree place, they cut it down for you, but we didn't realise that and we just, last year. well yeah we did that last year but what i'm saying is we didn't realize that when you buy it from like asta you think that they're all cut down but they're actually not so we've had to trim it a bit but we finally got it in and now we just need to dress it So on goes the first bauble, which is a candy skull. Cute. It's looking good. What are these called? Nutcracker. Nutcracker. Yeah, he's got. Oh, you put them in there. It looks a bit weird though. Yeah, I know. So that's. I know. These don't even need the um, thing on them because they could just sit like that. Yeah, I guess. No, but it doesn't look right. That looks odd. What like that? The nutcracker's quite heavy. Oh, yeah, the nutcracker's hench. Look at yeah, it. Are you going to put your bubble on? <laughs> yeah, come on. That's it. Good girl. Here we go. 
You're sniffing. Okay, where do you want to put it? This one, yeah. Are you licking it? It's you. You can't lick it. Where are you going to put it on the tree? Where? Where are you, by the way? Put it on Luna's bauble, aren't we? Where do you want to put it? Where do you want to put it? Hey? Where should we put it for you? Hey, Gina? This is. This is. Yeah, you should put it on the tree. Whereabouts? Whereabouts? There isn't really any space anymore. About around the corner here. Yeah, ready Luna? No, it needs to go in the middle somewhere. Oh, we want to put it up here. Should we move the skull move or the, the penguin? Let's move the penguin. Okay Luna, are you ready? Hey. Penguin out. Here we go, look. It's you. Up oh, there. Yeah. Is that good? You like it? Look. Good girl. The tree is done. Look how fabulous it looks. So pretty. How freaking cute is our little papa? Are you tired, little girl? You look very cozy. Daddy's going to move now. He's all right. Aww. Robin has just found out that Five Guys has just opened up in our town and even though we went for a shoot blah, 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 kind of a talk even though we went for a food shop today he now wants a Five Guys we have to go there and he went stop going on about it and then I messaged my friend because she's the one that basically posted on an Instagram story that five guys open today. She's like, you have to go, you have to go, you have to go. I was like, literally, you're not helping me out here. Have you shown them the trick? Yeah, I've been vlogging it all day. Five guys for dinner. With a ludicrous amount of chips. Ooh, don't mind if I do. Hey guys, so it is Tuesday. Let me meet the telly. Oh, and oh, Luna. I literally. I haven't really done anything, to, well I have, but I haven't done many things today, I've done one thing, well two things actually. I went to town to grab a few bits, I had to get Robin a black suit because it's my granddad's <clears throat> funeral on Thursday, hoping it fits Robin. Um, and then I come home and I was on the phone to QuickBooks which is like an accountancy software which I've probably spoken to you about already if you watch my vlogs. Um, I spoke to the guys for like an hour, they were talking me through how to use it, it's still not fixed one thing on there, basically I can't join my bank account to the software, that's still broken and I'm talking to an engineer on Friday about that to try and fix it, however in the meantime I'm kind of manually doing everything which is long, but yeah and I've been spending hours doing it today and I'm still not finished. But I've got a little bit more to go. Hopefully I'll get it done before Robin gets home from work so I can just chill with Robin tonight. I always get really stressed when Robin's in the house and I'm working because I feel like, oh, I want to come and chill with you or when I come and like speak to you or watch telly or, you know, I feel bad. And then he's always like, Sophie, he's in his ready. Sophie, can we do this? And it just stresses me out. So I'd rather be done before he gets home because he wants picking up from the station as well. And I probably have to cook dinner. So, yeah. I just wanted to come and say hey to baby because I haven't really given her much attention today. She's all right for like a little period of time on her own. And then she's recently started climbing the stairs, which is really bad because we've got a whole, an old house. It's like 1880 house and the stairs are so steep. So like she's fine coming up because she can kind of do like a little bunny hop up. But if she turns around to go back down, she's legit doing a handstand and it scares the fuck out of me excuse my language but it does and i'm getting well i get so worried that she's gonna like fall down and break her leg or something um so yeah she recently suddenly appeared upstairs like twice before and then we're like how does she get up here but i've watched her and she does kind of hop but she hasn't attempted to go all the way recently so i don't know why she managed to get up to the top of those two other times but yeah she's currently 
watching telly and there was cats. Um, but yeah, I leave the telly on for her so she can watch something and then I just go upstairs. But yeah, I'm gonna have to leave her again. She's not gonna be happy about that. Look at the little bubble snoring. Are you stopped now? You see me? Guys, I am off to London today. It is Wednesday now. Um, it's really early. I wake up at like quarter past six. I'm so tired. Um, I'm going to London because my management, my old work, are basically launching a new side of their agency, like a new business called This Is Summer. So I won't be under B Talent anymore. I'll be under This Is Summer. So I'm going to go to the breakfast for that. Then I need to go to Top Man and sort Robin's suit out because his jacket didn't fit yesterday and then I need to go to Apple because I don't like um, then I need to go to Apple to sort something out and then I need to go and try my wedding dress on so fingers crossed I like it because if you're watching my last week's vlog or my vlog the other day I can't remember no last week's vlog you would have seen that I would have spoken to you about having a bit of a dress regret so fingers crossed I like it um, but yeah we shall see. So I am now home. I didn't vlog the rest of my London trip, mainly because I didn't want you guys to see my wedding dress. But I went back and I tried it on and I'm so thankful that Robin's sister Miranda came with me. She used to work for Oscar de la Renta and she's uh, used to do the embroidery but she's like amazing at dressmaking and she knows a lot about that which I do not so it was amazing taking her because she actually fitted the dress to me so frigging well like if you could see a comparison to how they fitted the dress how the shop fitted the dress to me Le Treuseur, I think the name is if you could see the comparison to how they fit the dress to me back in June and to how Miranda fitted the dress to me is honestly it looks like a different dress it's ridiculous but I'm so glad I went back because I kind of stood there in the dress for a whole hour and I tried out different things like I tried on different veils I tried tried on belts I tried on earrings jewelry my hair up my hair down I just I could just get a feel for like how I wanted to style it and yeah me and Miranda spoke about what I can do and what I can't do with the dress and whether things are doable and I'm going to make a few tweaks to it nothing like too drastic just like the front bit oh, the front bit's got a bit of mesh and I might actually put a lining underneath to cover it up because I don't want it to be revealed um yeah so just a couple of little tweaks um to the dress and I think it's doable and I also found my veil which was amazing because by, basically back in June last year they only put one veil on me and they didn't and they said they didn't have any other ones which I was a bit disappointed about because I didn't really get the right feel for the dress however they literally had the perfect veil today and I think I'm ordering it I just need to see the price and whether they can basically I just want an extra layer put in I just need to see whether they can do that um, and I, like, I loved it and, it and it literally matched the dress perfectly so that was a positive today and yeah I'm just feeling a bit more positive about it so that is good news um, so I'm all happy with the dress and I think it just made me feel better that I can like if there's bits that I'm not happy about I can change it well not I personally can't but someone will change it for me and I can kind of tweak the dress to suit me and to, to cover up all the negative thoughts and doubts I'm having about the dress. Like if I wanted the straps taken um, a little bit thinner, it can be done. If I want the top, the bottom bit to be a bit lower, it can be done. Like basically they can do anything. So it made me feel a bit better because when I went in June, they basically said, no, we can't do that. No, that can't be done. But actually it can. I think the woman just didn't have a clue. I think, from what the sounds of it, I had the new girl. So obviously wasn't educated yet, was still learning. Fine, but when you're dealing with someone's wedding dress and making them pay, I mean a lot of money, like I went over budget, like you've got to get, like I just personally think the service wasn't that great in the shop. And even today I felt like me and Robin's sister kind of took over and I'm glad the lady let us take over. She was helpful when we asked her questions, but she kind of just left us to it, which is weird because you'd thought she'd wanted to get involved. 
But hey ho, it's all sorted. I'm feeling positive and yeah. Just waiting for Robin to come home now and then we're gonna cook some dinner. Morning guys, so it's now Thursday and today is my grandma's funeral, so not a great day. Hoping that I'm not gonna get upset because I hate getting upset. Um, but yeah, so I'm gonna head there in a few hours, pick up my brother and sister on the way. And I've got the wake and then I'm going for dinner tonight in London with Paige, Charlotte and um, Vicky from Malibu. So a little Ibiza reunion, so ending today on a positive um, and just doing something nice to not make the whole day sad. Hey guys, so sorry I haven't vlogged much today, but as you know, it's my granddad's funeral, so obviously it wasn't really the right time, but I'm heading to London now to go for dinner with Malibu, Paige and Charlotte, so yeah, I'll be vlogging that, and I think we're going to some sort of like tapas restaurant, but I'm literally starving, I was going to have um, some soup when I got in earlier, but I haven't got around to it, so... I'm not sure if I'm going to have a snack or just hold out for dinner. Five guys. Robin's going to Five Guys again. How bad is that? So bad. He's so naughty. So yeah, Robin's going to chill at home with Luna, Petuna, Tuna, Manina. And she's so cute. And yeah, I'm going to be dining in London and uh, hopefully won't be home too late. Got a busy day of filming tomorrow. So this is where we are going for dinner tonight and the girls are in the window! This menu looks absolutely amazing, I am in love with tapas. Morning guys, so it's now Friday and I just filmed this sparkly makeup look which will be coming to my channel very soon. Um, Oh my god, so last night was absolutely hilarious. I had such a good night. So I'm so glad I ended yesterday with a bit of a positive. My granddad's funeral was okay. Like, it was actually all right. Um, it was a little bit sad, but it went better than I thought. And I was so, like, anxious before I went. And I was so worried that I was going to cry. I did tear up at some bits. But I was trying to like keep it together and just be strong and then just like once I was out of the crematorium then I felt like I could breathe again and I was like okay. Seriously, every time someone walks past she just barks. Um, yeah, so it went alright. It went alright. I think it was a really lovely send off. Um, lots of people arrived and so that was so nice as well. And yeah, my nan was, my nan was strong so that, that was good. Um, last night though was so funny um, so we went out for dinner I would totally recommend that tapas place Brindisas I think it's called there's a few in London it's so delicious and you just pick lots of different things to eat and oh my god get the cod fritters and then there's this like cheesy beetroot crisp thing that was literally unreal like the food was amazing um, also might have had three gin and tonics and I don't normally drink that much I don't normally drink ever, really, and when I do drink, never that much. Um, oh, but I, my first one, I basically didn't really eat much yesterday, and the first drink I had was basically on an empty stomach, so it went straight to my head. I was tipsy straight away, and I actually felt a bit drunk last night. Not gonna lie. I might have also got McDonald's on the way home as well, which is not good, um, but I was so drunk that I was like, I need more food in me. And I like, oh, I got home, had a cup of tea, I like downed loads of water. And to be honest, when I woke up this morning, I felt a little bit hungover. More in my mouth, you know, when you get that horrible taste, it's gross, I know. Um, but yeah, it was a really good night. Uh, we spoke about lots of weird, bloody subjects. As you, you girls probably know when you're with your girlfriends and you're chatting about stuff. Um, it got but, like a bit deep and serious. And then we were like, whoa, let's change this up a bit. And yeah, it was funny. Um, but yeah, it was nice, and I was meant to film an, another dye video today, but basically I have to keep putting it off because my hair's not the right shade, which is a shame. So now I am going to edit my makeup video that I did, and I also need to go to the post office because I missed posts the last two days, um, and post some Sophie Hannah Beauty bits out, and then I've got a phone call with an engineer today, through uh, from QuickBooks 
that is hopefully going to help me sort that out and fix it. Um, but yeah, that's about it. Luna? Luna? Cross windy today. Oh, why can't I whistle? There we go. Luna! Luna! What are you doing, baby? Hey? What are you doing? No one's out the front. No one's at the front door, baby. Are you watching telly? Are you? Whenever I am upstairs doing stuff, I always put the telly on first so she has something to watch. She does love it. She's watching I'm a Celebrity at the moment. She seems to be enjoying it. <laughs> okay, so I had some bad news. Not about me, thank God. But Robin's mum has fallen over and broken her ankle, which is not good. And it's in plaster. And so she can't drive. So now I'm having to go and pick her up from the hospital and take her back home, which is, yeah, not fun breaking your ankle. I mean, I've never personally done it, but it just doesn't sound fun at all. Um, yeah, so I'm going to stop what I'm doing and uh, head there now. Oh, dear, guys. It's been a long day. A uh, lot of driving. Because uh, Robin's mum's ankle it's legit in a plaster like a big plaster not good so just had to kind of be a little bit of a carer for a day and um help her out and then robin got back at about half eight and i quickly just cooked us some sausage mash and beans such a good meal and then we just went to back to a and e to pick up robin's mum's car because it was left there she can't drive um but yeah it's like 10 o'clock at night now so i'm gonna head up check on my cameras are charged or charging because i'm off to london tomorrow to shoot with paige and charlotte we're kind of collabing on like a youtube video each so we've all got our own idea and then we're kind of all going to help each other out and stuff and then i think paige has found someone i think her, her friend joe to come and film well like help us film bits because obviously the bits that we all want to be in we won't be able to film ourselves because we want to be in it um but yeah and then we're gonna have like a late lunch early dinner but i'm literally dreading shooting in london tomorrow because it's like one degrees outside it's so cold so i'm going to make sure i'm bringing layers and coats and scarves and gloves and the whole lot to keep warm morning guys so it's now saturday and i'm all christmas partied makeup up that doesn't even make sense does it um i've got glitter makeup on guys because i'm going to london to shoot with paige and charlotte and we're all doing kind of like christmasy lookbook kind of videos as a collab the one that i'm doing is one dress three ways so we've all bought the same dress off of um i saw it first it's just a black sequin one it's very basic but i just thought you know it's like a little black dress that everyone kind of opts for at christmas or for an event or something or an occasion so i just thought it'd be a really fun way to see how each of us style it up so i know paige has got like a pink metallic jacket i've got a fur coat and um paint and boots i'm not sure how charlotte's styling hers i feel like she's got a blazer or something so we're all styling it very differently so in the hope that it kind of inspires all of you guys to if you want to buy the dress or something similar just kind of gives you a bit of an idea of the different ways you can style it up to suit each of your styles and personalities and things so yeah i thought it'd be a really fun video paige is doing like a lookbook kind of christmasy one like lifestyley featuring us and then charlotte's doing a party dress lookbook as well um but yeah so so it should be a really fun day it's gonna be absolutely freezing so i've got lots of layers on 
Um, but yeah, I'm gonna go get the train now. So we are in Nando's now in the warm because we've been shooting for about three or four hours and it's absolutely freezing outside. So yeah, we're all here now. We're gonna exchange Christmas gifts. And um, yeah, let's see what we bought each other. So cute! So I'm opening up my first present from Paige. I'm gonna attempt to do it one handed. Hello, I'm just trying to do it one handed. Why is everyone filming me at the same time? Oh, it's a little miss, or is it a mister? Oh, it's a miss. Obviously, a little miss. You're saying something? I mean, my ass is fat. Now you've got to open your one, your square one. Okay, wait. <laughs> oh, I can't get the wrapping on. So, look how cute this wrapping is. I mean, I can't cope. I've just spent a lot of hours. Going into this one now. <laughs> oh, what is it? <gasps> is it a calendar? Oh, <laughs> so cute! <laughs> how amazing is this calendar? So cute. From Charlotte now. Ooh. Oh, it is the same card. <laughs> How cool is this cactus pen for my crossing it planner? Which looks really, really good. Oh no, going everywhere. How cool is this? So I can write like goals in it. What else? There's lots of different things in here, like oh, notebook right thing, there. strengths, weaknesses, so cool. How good does Nando's look? look at my face. Hey guys, so I'm back from London now and I thought because I got a few Christmas presents, I would wrap them. I don't want to show what they are in case any of the family members are watching this YouTube video. Um, but yeah, I got some really cute little bits, so I just thought I'd get some wrapping done now. Bought Luna some cute bits actually. I got like a little bandana with a French bulldog on, cute little bauble for the tree, and like a little uh, pouch for treats with a French bulldog on, which is so cute. So I'll show you when she opens them up on Christmas. She's just put her donut down for me to wrap. Uh, why have you put your donut there? You want me to wrap it? Luna, you want me to wrap your donut? Robin, she's literally put the donut in the middle of the wrapping paper. Yeah, she wants to wrap it. Luna, you want me to wrap your donut? You want me to wrap your donut? Yeah? Yeah, let her unwrap it. You want me to wrap it up? Yeah? Yeah, let her wrap, unwrap it. Luna? High five wrap. if you want me to wrap up your donut. You do! So it's now Sunday and I've just filmed this really crazy green and blue makeup look um, for a blog post, so just to ignore this. But it has been snowing all morning and it is settling outside. I didn't think it would and it's so thick um so i'm gonna take luna outside just because i want to show you guys and i want to see myself what she does and how she reacts because she doesn't actually like it so i had to literally like kick her out this morning to go to the toilet and bless her she came in she was so cold and wet but i'm gonna be cruel and let's go and see what she's like in the snow come on what's this it's snow i don't think you've ever seen it before come on luna Luna, come on. Do you like it? You're not sure. Oh. <laughs> you don't like it. Come on. There she goes. What's this? It's snow. You like it? Hey? What is it? Where's the grass gone? Where's the grass gone? Are you going to wee on the snow now? That's so gross, Luna. <laughs> you see flashing lights. This is my Christmas tree. Um, oh, so had a bit of a productive day today. Got some work done. Filmed a couple of hair tutorials. Um, got my lookbook video up on youtube which i'll pop a link below if you want to see it it is featuring me Paige, and charlotte the video we shot yesterday so i edited it and it's up today um 
and yeah, and then Miranda, Robin's sister, came around and I was helping her with her website that she's launching soon. And to be honest, that's about it. Robin came home from work at about seven ish, just watched Riverdale and showered. Well, I actually had a bath and a shower. Like, I showered my, washed my hair, but I had sat in the bath. I quite like doing that sometimes. Um, and then I just just blow dry my hair quickly before bed so it doesn't fall out whilst I sleep and um, yeah that's it really I'm going to go to bed now and uh, thanks for watching this week's vlog can't believe it's the end of another week can't believe we're nearing Christmas and the end of the year and I've, I think this is my 48th, 49th vlog now which is insane um, but yeah, thanks to uh, all of you lot, if you've actually sat and watched every single one, you are amazing. Um, but yeah, I'm going to head to bed now, and I will see you guys in my next one. Peace out.